Hi everybody, Susan here with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I'm going live on my Facebook page. I haven't done this in quite a while and my setup's a little different. So you're just going to see my crafting hands today. You're not going to see my smiling face, but I had a fun project. This is actually a redo of a project I've done in the past. And I'm just going to show you this quick and simple card technique um, that you can do with our lovely designer series paper. So today I'm using the Daffodil Afternoon designer series paper from our Celebration Promotion, uh, which is continuing through the end of February. And so I've cut my 12 by 12 paper down to a 4 inch wide by 12 inches long. Then I've scored it at uh, 5 and a quarter. And if I fold it properly, five and a quarter by four. And then this last one and a half inches, I've scored it at uh, three quarters and then three quarters. So it's actually a double fold. And I'm just going to fold that back on itself. So it's going to create this little border at the bottom for me. I'm just going to use my bone folder to give it a nice strong crease. And there is the basic card layout, okay? So that's just from Designer Series Paper. No other cardstock required at this point. Now, you could just write your message in here or stamp on it. The other side of this paper is light enough that you could do that. Sometimes it doesn't work out. And so then I would just cut a piece of coordinated cardstock and line it so you can have your message. So I'm going to go ahead and line this. One, it gives it a little more um, thickness so that... It holds up a little better in the card department. But if you just wanted quick and easy little note cards and you had some wonderful two-sided paper, one side that you could write on and one side for um, decoration, that's nice and easy. So there, I've put my liner on the inside. And then for my little fold back here, the same thing. I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive and fold it back on itself. Now you could always dress this up and add another piece of colored cardstock. You could add some ribbon, you could add an embellishment, but I'm going to leave it nice and simple today for our Make It Monday project. Okay, now I have taken some time and I die cut some labels. I used these labels because I could do a whole bunch at once. These are the tasteful label dies. Okay, and I've got mine all set on a magnetic sheet. So I have very vanilla dies and I've cut out some different shapes. And I'm going to stamp some sentiments with the special moments stamp set that you can earn as celebration as well. So the paper you can earn the pack when you put a $50 order in, the stamp set here you can earn with a $100 order. And I really liked it because it, had, it has all different kinds of sentiments for you to use, whether you need a sympathy or a hang in there like a get better. But you can do birthdays, you can just do brightening your day. So lots of different sentiments in there. So let's find a sentiment that we can use. So these are photopolymers, so you can see through them, which makes it really easy for positioning. So I'm going to first pull out the brightening day one. And I'm going to put that on a bigger block than I have there. Okay, we'll put it on this block. And... One of the colors that coordinates with this paper is our Crushed Curry. And since that's the color of the liner, I'm going to go ahead and use Crushed Curry for my sentiment. And I'm just going to bring this label in here. Ink up my stamp. Stamp that down. And I can see through my block for my positioning, so that was easy. I could do my cutting first, and then I can do my stamping second. So you could pre-cut a bunch of labels in the neutrals and have them ready to go for cards. I'm just going to put two little dimensionals on the back and I'm just going to put this right down here along that band and there I go. I've got one card all set easy peasy. So I've got a couple more I've already scored like I showed you. I do need to do the um, adhesive part so I'm just going to do that real quick. So I'm going to do a couple more of these to show you that they can be done quickly with the same design, one pack of paper, then your colors are all going to coordinate. So if you pick an ink color, you're good to go. And I'm going to line it. So as you can see, you're going to get the bonus of seeing both sides of your DSP, one on the outside, one on the inside. 
And you could make up a whole bunch of these without putting sentiments on them and set them aside for when you need a card and then add your sentiment after. Um, let's see. This one, let me use, oh, let's use happy birthday. All right, we can always use a happy birthday card. So here's my happy birthday sentiment. I'm going to put that on the block I used before because I need one that's a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to peel that off. I know I have to clean it. But happy birthday there. Now this time I'm going to stamp. Well, let's see. Happy birthday isn't going to fit on any of those. So let's see. I'm going to do it in two words. And watch how I do this. Nothing like doing a live demonstration and going, oh, and let me try something tricky. So I'm going to first ink up just the happy word. So you see how I only ink the happy? And I'm going to put that down. Okay, now I'm going to ink up the birthday. Then what I need to do is put paper in there so that the happy isn't going to ink again. So I have to um, mask it off. So I'm just using my liner from my dimensionals. So I put that between the happy and the cardstock and I put the birthday under happy and I've got happy birthday. Look at that. It's like I've been doing this for a while, right? So I've got a happy birthday tag for this. Again, I'm going to pop that up on just some dimensionals. And peel off those backs. So now I've got happy birthday for that one. All right, let's do one more. I kind of like this fun. It's like a jungle theme to me. Paper. It's all greens on greens. It might be really fun if you did a like die cut flower in one of the coordinating colors to dress it up a little. So these could be real basic or you could go over the top and really start adding various dyes and ribbons and other embellishments. This one has these cute coral flowers in there. So if you have another die or stamp set that would coordinate, which I'm sure there are more than one. Um, you could just do some flowers to dress it up. So here's this, and let's see. I'm gonna use this tag on this one, I think. So this time, instead of guessing which one's gonna fit, I can go like this. Let's see, that one will fit. Where would I be without a friend like you? So just by putting the shape of the die cut over my stamp, I was able to see which one would fit. All right, and this one I'm going to do with the black as well, because there's none of that yellow in that paper. I could do it with that coral color, but I don't have that out. So again, I can see through my photopolymer to get my tag done, just like that. And one more time with my dimensionals. We'll pop it up. And we are good to go. So there we go, our Make It Monday project. I will go ahead and post the photos and the directions on my blog, and I'll put the link here later for you to find that. And I hope you're all having a great day today. So make some fun and easy cards, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye now.